Alright, so the last video in our data logging series is going to show you how to uh, perform data logging alongside other programs. So what we're going to do is open a new program in the programming side now of the LEGO Mindscarps Education. So we're not going to click here and do simple data logging. So let's start a new program, Untitled 2. And we can go to our advanced blocks and we can see we have a start data log and a stop data log. So we're going to drag over the start data log. Now, what I'm going to say is that we drag it down here and we make it a separate string in our program. So now we can do data logging just like we do down here. Um, and we can, you know, name it and, and duration and all the good stuff that we did before. But we can have another program running at the same time. So if we're moving some motors or, you know, waiting for some sensors or whatever we want to do, we can do that up here and we can data log the whole time. So that's what you're going to want to do for your project because you're going to have to data log the whole time. So, and the other thing you want to think about is that five samples per second, that might fill up um, the memory on your NXT brick very quickly. So if you start getting some errors or whatnot, um, that might be the problem. So let's, um, let's see if we can replicate those errors. So let's go to five samples per second and let's just do un unlimited. Uh, so let's see if we can let's see if we can put this up higher. And then we're going to do ultrasonic just like we did before. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the error we're going to get. So if we go to manage files, we can see that we have a lot of sound files on here and that um, we don't really have much unused. So what I usually like to do is just delete all. Now, so um, what you, what you want to see is that other is where our, all our log files are. So our experiment one log and whatnot that we did before. So let's delete all. And so now it might take a little while. But now we have a bunch of unused memory. So that's very good. So Okay. So it looks like we can't even do the unlimited um um from this. So let's just let's pick a time period. We don't want to do unlimited, so let's just do minutes. And look, now we get another error. Duration rate you entered may generate a log file exceeding the variable memory. Okay. So what we have to do is not do 50 samples per second. So maybe we want to do 10 seconds between samples. So what that'll do is every 10 seconds that'll take it. So that might be enough for our purposes. Let's see. Let's see if it'll work. And it looks like it'll work. So the problem with this though is that if you get a quick moving cloud or something and you, you, you might miss some power that you uh, should have gotten. So again, we're measuring um, with the ultrasound. So, um, but right now you can see it's not taking many measurements. It's only going to take it every 10 seconds. So we might get these large dips and we might miss some data. So that's the downside of this. And that's about what there is to it. So you really want to make sure you don't run out of memory. And, uh, you, but you want to choose your samples per second high enough so that you catch all your data. Thanks for watching.